We have nothing to fear for the future, except we forget the way that God has led us in the past and his teachings that have brought us along the way. So yesterday, I had my kids and I was taking them back home and uh, had a very unfortunate incident happen. We were driving and we seen a deer come up on the road and it just about got hit by another car. There was a steep bank on that side and then it ran across the road. And so the traffic kind of slowed down. There's a few people in front of me. We all slowed down. We started to move again and we we're looking to see there's no deer on the other side, but it's a steep bank and we couldn't really tell. And as we we're driving by, I just kind of glanced to my right to see if I could see the deer that we just missed. And uh, another deer popped out from the other side and came around and uh, I hit it. And uh, it was like a dream. It was, it was almost like, like it didn't happen, but you knew that it happened. And my son Joel, he seen it get up and it ran away and it jumped over the fence and, and it seemed to be somewhat okay. But I pulled over and smashed my headlight, left a little bit of blood, a little bit of fur, not a whole lot. So hoping the deer will be okay, but I don't know. My van, another story, it needs a little work now. So this morning, when I went for a walk, I was walking and my neighbors texted me, said, how was everybody doing? And I, I sent a message saying, you know, it's all okay. It was kind of like it was, you know, it was surreal and how it was like a dream. And, and it didn't just, you know, it didn't really affect us a whole lot just because it just didn't seem weird. And the deer ran off and ran away. And uh, they made a joke because they're always thinking I need a bigger truck. And they're like, oh, if you had a bigger truck, uh, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Uh, I think there's some slight miscommunications. I don't know how that all works, but uh, happy the deer ran away. But I think he was thinking if I had a bigger truck, maybe there wouldn't have been any damage to my to my vehicle. Uh, but just as they sent that message, I was walking along the road. I was out for a walk, and I looked down, and there's a set of teeth in the road from a deer. So I sent them a message back, and I took a picture of it, and I sent a message back, and I said. If I would have had a bigger truck, this is what would have happened. And I took a picture of the teeth in the road showing where a deer had been. And, you know, obviously the rest of it's gone. And the only the thing that's left is the teeth. And it was like embedded in the road. And they're like pretty much perfectly preserved. And then what I did after that was I marked the spot. I took some sticks and I made an arrow. And I said to them, I said, because they didn't have data on their phone. I said, well, when you're out for your walk, look for the marking on the road. And that's what would have happened if I would have had a bigger truck. I thought it was kind of funny, you know, we can kind of make, we don't want to make light of the situation that I hit a deer, but make light of the situation, you know, we're just kind of joking around about a vehicle um, because they think my van's so small and I can't pull my trailer with it. Well, maybe I could, but maybe not too far. So anyways, as I started to walk away from there, I realized, you know, what are the chances that that would happen, that I'd be walking and as the moment they said, you should have a bigger truck, I just happened to look down and there's a pair, set of teeth from a deer embedded in the road. And I thought, you know, that's, you know, I probably have a greater chance of winning the lottery. And then I was walking and maybe about five minutes down the road, all of a sudden a truck went by and he was watering the road. And I thought, oh, I wonder if they're grading in the road. And sure enough, there was a grader going by. And I thought, well, they'll never see the teeth in the road now because the grader is going to go over it and it's going to make it disappear because they're just kind of right on the surface, just embedded in the road. So I went for my walk and on my way back, I just happened to think I was just getting around that spot where I'd seen the teeth. I thought, well, maybe it's in the furrow from the grader off the road, or maybe I might be able to find it, but they'll probably be all broken up. The sticks will definitely be gone. And no sooner was I thinking that I got to the spot, I'm looking down and I seen a part of the stick that I put there. And then I seen the teeth still in the road. They were still there. They weren't covered up right by dirt. They weren't graded into the bank. They're still roughly where they were maybe pushed down just a little bit more and a little bit broken. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. So I have the teeth here. And I, I'm going to put up some pictures. So I still have them. And I thought, you know, this, this is kind of like an object lesson. You know, God can make things happen. So as I was walking, I thought, you know, I was even thinking, what are the chances that they'd say this and boom, there it is, right? And God often works like that, where something will be happening and God will intercede and bring things about that are relevant to your situation right at the moment. And then as I left that situation, the same thing happens is all of a sudden here comes this greater and it's going to destroy. It's like Satan. He comes back and he's like, hey, I don't want you to remember that thing that happened. I don't want you to remember that miracle. 
all these different things, you know, I don't want you to remember that. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to grade that all up and it's going to be gone and disappear. And no one will ever be able to know because I'd put an arrow there. I'd even mark the spot. So that way other people who are coming along the way might see what had happened, right? And, uh, but as I, as I came back, I seen that God can still have his hand over things. And while they'll go in the great, the road, you know, that memory will last a while. They'd only went over that spot once so far and those teeth were still there. The marker was gone. It was, you know, no one would ever have known that there was a marker there pointing to these teeth, but I just happened to find, I just seen a piece of the one stick. The other stick, the big one that was really marking was completely gone. And I thought, you know, this is how God works, you know. <clears throat> Something will happen, there will be a memory, and other people will come along the way, but they can't see that memory or find that memory or see anything about it because, one, it's gone. Well, I picked up the teeth. <laughs> For them to find the teeth on a road, it was a two kilometer stretch of road. And for them to be able to find this teeth, and we both walk on this road fairly frequently and they've never seen it. But God in his mercy will always have the person that that miracle happened to remember. And the thing is, is that our greatest danger is that we forget the past and how God was leading us. And therefore we will not have the strength and the courage to walk in the light that he's giving us further down the way which is the light that came from behind us.